much much smoother no 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 upgrade power I just um get some shots in and some range that's it not gonna use it much anyway and um i would say that that's all for now oh would you look at that those bracelets are still here i'm sure i dropped them the last time but it looks like that just was not the case let's see if there's anything else i missed don't really need that don't need this and um a cluster of energy cells used to power prototype qb weapon i'm gonna have one of these and that's pretty much it spare parts done would you look at that okay bam 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 okay let's go now, this weapon is certainly really, really lethal now. Data vaults. So, what do I want from here? So, as you can see, interestingly, data vaults, it's just pretty much a vault with uh, many, many lockers in it. And, uh, let's try this. <clears throat> Looks like restoring from backup turned off the gravity for some time at least. And one of the pieces out there knocked me out, so I'll just have to wait a little until I recover. They're afraid. No, nothing that interferes with memory formation. All right. <clears throat> so what the hell is this? Okay, it looks like I'll have to go through here. What's my objective anyway? Fabricate your arming key. Get Alex's arming key. I left myself instructions to destroy Talos 1 if the Typhon broke out. The process requires two arming keys, mine and my brother's. I managed to secure a fabrication plan for mine, but I don't think getting Alex's will be as straightforward. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so looks like that is the key, the button. Oh wow. As you can see Morgan? Morgan, this is Chief Elazar. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Self-destruction key, that's interesting. This side up, get to the cargo bay. I was forced to jettison myself into space to escape deep storage, airlocks leading back inside their seal. But Sarah Laser, chief of security, contacted me. She's hold, hold up in the cargo bay where there'll be a way for me to re enter. No data. Okay, let's uh, go. Um, 
through one of these cargo bay right there I'm sure she's held in the cargo bay yeah that was exterior so we're gonna get there now and hopefully are we going to meet her so that's it that's the ship actually we could descend a little bit and uh, have a have a much 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 better look at this project right here morning i've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death it's a lot to swallow my advice would be try not to think about the end focus on what's in front of you one step at a time i'm here if you need help So, certainly, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, right here. That's how it looks like, the full, the full beauty. Hoorah! That's multiple objectives. Yeah, we've got it in our view now. As you can see, we can start moving back now. Into the station. Hey, you. I find you outside your prison. Maybe trying to escape? Like me? Not safe out there. But you know this. You have headaches, see things, it is not fever, not hallucinations, a horizon is coming, cutting through space. If we are still here when it arrives, it screams so loud, we hear it in our head. It is still far away, but it is coming closer, it will eat your prison. Every person on board, and it will still be hungry. Where will it go next, I wonder? I see you back in your prison soon, and you. Alright, alright. Let's just uh, get into the cargo bay now. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Okay. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from here. Okay. Human corpse. Did you look at that. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe. For the moment. It will be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Dock a cargo container. Would you look at that? Self-destruct key. Right here. No container docked. So that's self-destruct key. Rescue doctor. IGV, whatever. Let's see. Doc Doctor IGV's container, Talos Phonic Zero. Doctor Dio IGV appears to be trapped inside a shipping container outside the cargo bay. If I can get the number of his container, I can use the docking terminal to return him to safety. I'll have to do it before his oxygen runs out. Discover Doctor a container number. No info, though. Container controls. So that's the container controls. That's another human corpse. Okay. And uh, how can I get his uh, info? In any case, I'm not sure where exactly is it. Okay, and I don't really care though. <laughs> What's that? Leverage assist. Let's pick this up. 
Oh, look at that. station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. And I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way, the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. So that's two, three, one, two. Dock shipping container. <laughs> I could open it, but I'm gonna dock it though. Done. It looks like that is going to keep this guy alive. Oh, at last! I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterials. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. You, but I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. All right, all right, all right. You found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. In any case, it looks like we should be able to get inside now. Zero six four zero. Let's go inside now. I bet I'm going to meet that guy that I just saved all by myself. Maybe he'll have anything to tell me. No ship. Shipping and receiving. Doctor Yu! Morgan! Up here! Officer Cool! Oh yeah. We can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Alright, 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 alright. These guys can go. That he survived. No, he's not going to die. Let's go after this fool. Then everything seems to be offline here. So he wants me to move up. How do I get? How do I get there? I'm not sure. Nothing here seems to be explaining itself. Let's walk around here. A volume power door. <clears throat> In here we should... Uh, that's a turret. I'm sure I just kind of looked at the turret right here. That's a turret. 
So, first, first of all, we're going to hack the turret. <coughs> and um, then we're going to fortify the turret. So, with every hack turret, we pretty much gain more and more control. Of uh, this area. In any case, I'm not sure where exactly to place it. However, I'm gonna place it here. Oh, look at that! That's one of them. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna place this here. Done. Let's. Uh, do the same with another turret here. And um that's done. Okay, it looks like now things should be much better. No matching key card. Scanning target typhoon material inconclusive. It looks like um, we'll just have to find another way. Power interrupted. All right, all right, all right. Let's then move in to this area. We'll be trying something. Fuel storage, man. Look at that fuel. System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Looks like um, nothing's gonna help. Qualified engineer. That's probably the qualified engineer. Locked out until I update their credentials. How about role player or role player? Won't forget that anytime soon. Crispy fries transcribe. Let's listen. Hey, Lane, this is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen. Uh, System alert. Did you repair the employees contact and qualify engineer? Employee. It's a uh, machine. Uh, machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Redployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. I've just successfully restored the power here. So this may mean that the door is gonna open. No. Let's take a look. Find Chef Chief Sara Alazar. Cargo bay, somewhere in the cargo bay. That's a level two. I'm on level one. Okay. <clears throat> Keys to the kingdom. Insufficient typhon material found. Standing down. Okay. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe this is gonna be of some help. Lift five. Oh yeah. So use. What did we gonna get here? A bunch of grenades. So this is where they're getting their supply from. And we can take a look what's inside of this. Can I can I jump on? I wonder. Okay. 
Ah, study. Target Typhon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Okay. Now, a good question is how to move there. Okay. Okay, is there a way to jump on it, I wonder? There probably isn't. In any case, it could be that <clears throat> another door is gonna open. I am a little bit lost here now. The power is on. <clears throat> but that doesn't really mean anything. Does not really mean anything at all. And the key card. Oh, look at that. Continue 33. What is that supposed to be? Okay, um... I probably have to jump on the container somehow. Okay, and... Uh, just maybe... That's how it's supposed to be done! Done! Yay! Alright, shipping and receiving. Done. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe, your brother Alex brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but, well, now might be best. Here. I'm sure you could make better use of it. Right. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. There probably is. I have no Oh, look at Morgan? that. I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when, when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunction. All of them. How is that possible? I'm not sure, <clears throat> but I'm sure we're gonna find out. To be completed within six hours of incident. Details of incident. The accident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained, but we lost <coughs> some crew in there. <coughs> the power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out. Uh, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Tiles is falling apart. Okay. The Starbender Cycle Book 3 Special Delivery. <clears throat> Email. Ah, that's a sad smiley. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with the Halorian tree fluid aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo bay. A. I need everyone involved with the transit review procedures and protocols. <clears throat> At the start of their shift today, as you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage, I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask, ask Enoch, stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you all the rest of the shift off. Alright. And Dr. Ike with temporary assignment. 
Yeah, he's assigned to this area temporarily. As you can see, they have quite a bit of food here. Obviously, this wouldn't last for more than a couple of days of, uh, like, eating. But, um, it's better than nothing, right? Here we can scan them a little bit further. If only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but I could have done more. Alright, let's keep moving. Shipping and receiving. God, watching those things move it makes me sick. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than anyone. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be him. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Okay, that's a good idea. And here we're going to have a chat now with um, the officer. Utilities. Area map. So this is the map that we currently learned. And now we'll find out the rest. Dr. Ebling. And um it looks like figures he'd there. survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. As the crew. And if you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. So you came all this way only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you, Doctor. That means all we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. We have a medical operator if you need to use it. We've been depending on that thing. All Any right. luck with those turrets? We're not going to last five seconds if we don't have some EATs backing us up. Find the plans, get to the fabricator, help us set up some emplacements, and we'll help you. Okay. I am worried the lifts were sealed for a reason, but I don't know if that will prevent the aliens from moving through the station. Okay. What else do we have here? Cargo Those things bay. will eventually find a way in here if we don't take the fight to them. We can see that uh, the station is uh, on the other side of the moon. Interesting, isn't it? Now, let's see. We need uh, those... Um, Plans so that we could make things like um, the turrets. Obviously, the turrets would uh, help us defend quite a bit, indeed. All right, let's keep Don't on. Don't know moving. if Wiggy, uh, Doctor Igwe, is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. Okay. He's Transtar PPN. You look like you need a medical operator. Okay, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna kind of use that medical operator. Requesting new operator. <laughs> it looks like it's being made by Hello. Good to see you again, Doctor. You heard you found the body of a smuggler in cargo bay. 
Quentin Burvis, Mika filled me in. I knew him. I didn't know he was involved in the smuggling ring on the station. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't looking closely enough. But, um, I still can't believe that this robot... Diagnosing. You're suffering from radiation poisoning. I advise immediate medical intervention. What Please, thing? hold still. This will only take a moment. There. All better. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be in... Done. There must be a way to get some turrets online. Doctor Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures. It... I'm sorry, Doctor Yu, that was out of line. Forgive me. Okay. Goddamn escape pods. Not one of them worked. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway, she fell asleep waiting on you. Okay. Were you able to get 